Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. <laughs> and to have people want to talk to us. If I had a feminine side, I would feel bad about what I'm getting ready to say. I don't have a feminine side. Okay, so I'm only using the term trans man just so that you all can know what I'm talking about. There's no such thing as a trans man. You either are a man or you're not. There's no such thing as, at least I'm not using the term cis man or cisgender. No, no man, woman. But here's a here's a, a lady who decided to become a man. I guess the woman liked women and wanted to join the other club. You know, I, I don't know what what's the old saying. If you can't beat them, join them. But she found out the hard way. Now I will say this though. I will say this. She grew a heck of a beard, did she not? I don't know what what it is that she took. If 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 that's some sort of what do you call it? Some sort of inserts or something plugged in or glued on or whatever. But uh, sister, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good beard for a lady. I'll give you that. But. She's crying because she became a man and realized two things. One, outwardly, and I would have thought you'd like a man. You like a soft man, but still, you like a man. I would have guessed you were a man just looking at you. So kudos to your surgeon. But what she's finding out that though you look like something on the outside, doesn't change what you are on the inside. You do realize that men and women are different. But let's just listen to her speak a little bit more about how hard and how lonely it is to be a man. Nobody told me how lonely being a man is. I had closer friendships with random women I met in the bathroom before I transitioned at clubs because of how open women are than I've had in my eight years of transitioning. Let me just say this. It's not lonely being a man. Men just don't crave that sort of attention that you you want to talk about this, talk about that. Yeah, if, if you're with your fellas and you say, hey, listen, I'm going to the bathroom. Who wants to go with me? You're not my friend anymore. We, we can't hang if that's what you're going to do. If that comes out of your mouth, we're not friends anymore. Because women are just so much more vulnerable and deep than men. But to have known, and I think a lot of trans men feel this, is we knew what de depth felt like before we transitioned. We knew what it felt like to like have people want to hug us. <laughs> and to have people want to talk to us. See, that's where you went wrong. See, men, I'm not, I, I don't know <laughs> when I've really been looking for people to want to hug me and, and to want to get to know me. I'm not looking to cry. Let me just pull a passage up. The Bible says that in the beginning, God, verse 27, chapter one, he says, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. He created two different genders. You come along and you want to change the rules and think that, hey, it's going to adapt. That's not the case, sweetie. And friendships are so much harder to build. And people are colder. And what's hard is none of this invalidates how real and raw women and people who are in marginalized groups feel about cis white men. All of that's valid. But I also now understand why the suicide rate is so much higher in men. The reason is because women aren't men. Men aren't women. Archie Bunker and Edith had it right. Uh, when he said girls were girls and men were men, we should. We, those are the kind of days we, we want to have back when we all knew and understood that girls were girls and men were men. That's just the case. Can I just give you another scripture too, lady? The Bible says in chapter 3 of Genesis, verse 16, says that the woman after the sin, he says, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. That's for ladies. It, that for me, when my children were born, I didn't feel any pain. My, my wife did. She, she did. I'm not making light of that, but that's because that's her rule. It, we didn't ask God uh, to fix that. I know they would like to, but he says, in, in pain, you bring forth children. 
Uh, yet your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. Therein lies the problem. You don't like the fact that men um, have this position that God has given. And so, as you said, if you can't beat them, join them. But even still, you are not going to feel whole. The reason why the suicide rate is high amongst all homosexuals, not just trans, is because you're trying to be something that you're not. You're trying to accomplish something that God never intended you to become. You're trying to go to a place that God will not let you go. You will never be, if you were born a woman, you will never be a man. Your bone structure is different. Your hips are different. Everything about you is different, including your mind, the way that you think. You can't even, I don't know, I don't know any men that think this way. I don't know any men that are going around looking for a lot of attention, a lot of, now there are some, I guess there are, like the way the world is going and, and them, I have to kind of look cross-eyed as well. Maybe they are, maybe they're one of you, a lady's trying to be a man. But you have, it, it shouldn't have taken you this long. It shouldn't have taken you to become a man to realize that this is how men are. Men are different. Because this shit is lonely. And I'm an emotionally mature man. No, you're not an emotionally mature man. You listen, you are a, an emotionally mature woman. What you're doing, what you're exhibiting, if a woman does that, that's fine. No one has a problem with that. If a guy does that, we're going to get you some help. Fellas, if, if we're going to get you some help. If, 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 if I see a man this way, but a woman, I understand because we understand that we are made differently. Our desires, our needs are different. I know how to build friendships and it is still really, really hard. So in conclusion, when you say it's hard being a man, no, it's not. It's hard for a woman to be a man. Just like if, if a man wanted to be a woman, it'd be hard for him. It's not hard for a woman to be a woman if she's a woman. It's not hard for a man to be a man if he's a man. Are there some difficulties in life just normally? Yes, there are. But trying to be something that God did not intend for you to be, you're going to always run into this brick wall. And so my prayer, you seem to have, you seem to have had a good surgeon because again, with the beard and everything, maybe you can go back to that surgeon and say, listen, I made a mistake. I don't know how much it costs you, how much it set you back, but I promise you the pain, the guilt, the despair, the brokenheartedness, that won't ever go away as long as you are in a body that's not yours. And so go back to him and say, can we fix this? But even more than that, go to the father and ask him to forgive you, place your faith in him, and see if he can't make you whole. I promise you he can. 